Dante Buckingham hasn't worn a Richmond Spider uniform since his sophomore season in 2018. Since then, the former Henrico standout hasn't said much about his departure from the program until now. For the first time on television, DeMonte talks about what happened at Richmond and what brought his love back to basketball. Hey, hey. Hey, DeMonte Buckingham is finally at a great place in his life. I definitely been put in a, in a great place here and just put me in a great mindset throughout this whole year. There were high expectations for DeMonte the minute he arrived at the University of Richmond after being a part of two state championship teams in a three year period at Henrico High School. I feel like I had a great freshman year. I impacted the game in the ways I wanted, uh, wanted to and the ways he wanted me to. So I feel like that, that freshman year was definitely a great year for me. DeMonte's great freshman season with the Spiders was capped when he won the 2017 A-10 Rookie of the Year. Only the third player in program history to do that. You just had to go out there and just love the game, just have fun. And that's the mindset I tried to go in there with. Despite his individual success at Richmond, DeMonte wasn't totally happy. I wanted to transfer and be in a position where I could you know, put myself in a position where I could play uh, like guard. The transfer never happened. In April of 2018, DeMonte was dismissed from the Spiders basketball team for a second violation of the athletic department's policy. And to be honest, I definitely was at my lowest at the time, you know, throughout my whole basketball career in my life. I never like felt like that at all throughout my whole life. What ultimately led DeMonte through was family. It's just having my parents, both of my parents around, my, my, both of my brothers just keep talking to me and encouraging me, telling me, you know, everything's going to be all right. DeMonte got a second chance at playing the game he loves, 3,000 miles from home with the Roadrunners of Cal State Bakersfield. So I ended up getting a, a conversation uh, call with the head coach, which is uh, Rob Barnes, you know, a Mississippi native, uh, definitely a, a Hall of Fame you know, coach. DeMonte's three years with Cal State Bakersfield was very beneficial in his development both on and off the court. I was out there by myself, uh, like no family, um, but just getting close with him and close with my teammates, I started you know, building a, a close like trust and bond with them. Just when DeMonte got back to being his old self and developed a connection with Coach Barnes and the team, COVID shut down everything. I really was quiet, didn't really say too much to anybody. The pandemic put DeMonte back in a place where he felt it was time to transfer from Cal State Bakersfield and return back east to be closer to his family. That's really why my mind was like a little messed up because I'm like, okay, I just wasted a year and now I had one more year left. It was, you know, the easiest recruitment. It was almost like when I was in college, I failed organic chemistry twice and the third time I got an A. So it was the same thing with Buck. I failed it twice and then the last time it was easy. DeMonte decided to leave Cal State Bakersfield for Radford University and play for coach Mike Jones. A difficult choice given the relationship he built with Coach Rod Barnes. The way I expected, he, he respected my decision, and he just told me, you know, go do what I needed to do, and if I need to help with anything, like no matter what, on or off the court, he's gonna be there for me regardless. It was more than basketball. It was, you know, just that relationship that we had established over the years. DeMonte's time at Radford was short-lived. It, it was definitely uh, mind-boggling. Mike Jones had left Radford to become the head coach at UNC Greensboro. He like basically just told me up front, I want you to come with me. Is there something that you want to do? And you no, know, I didn't even give him no, no second guess, no second guess. And I just told him, like, yes, I'm coming with you. I was confident that he might want to come, uh, you know, there too. So uh, that, that made it easy. In his one season at UNC Greensboro, DeMonte achieved career highs in points, field goal, and three point percentage. Obviously, he's going to say I put in the work throughout the summer, which I did. but. I still put that on him because he gave me the right mindset and right mental to not even worry about like any any mistakes. The intangible leadership that he brings to our team, not just you know vocally, not just by example, but just the encouragement piece with other guys on the team. With his college career now complete, DeMonte looks back at his journey, which has some obstacles along the way, and ultimately made him a stronger and better person. It's something that I really want to do to change my life. So. I just had to decide myself that I just got to keep working, 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 and that's, that's my mindset right now.